Well, evening and welcome once again, friends, to Gaming Under the Influence at Green Dragon CVR with Mike and Alex. We hope you're fucking well. Fuck this yeah, is lockdown we do. in Ontario and probably wherever the hell you're living in the world. We love you there, too. What are you drinking tonight, guys? What are you drinking there, Alex? I am drinking fucking a blonde, blonde lager. From Great lager. Lakes beer. That's the one. Cheers to that. Pretty I got good, a man. Tilted Cheers. Barn Dry Hop Cider from our friends at fucking Duxbury. Hope you're well, Mike and the other boys. Yeah, that's some good shit. So, what are we here for? What are we here for? Well, we're only here for one thing ever in the history of the world. <laughs> and that is to talk about fucking video fucking games. Fucking video games! Yeah, that's right, I'm man. I'm especially and, uh, excited this week. I don't know why. I'm always excited about <laughs> video games, man. <laughs> <laughs> something I've always been excited... <laughs> excited? Excited about, excited about for sure. And it's yeah. something that was difficult to articulate. Still difficult Until for adulthood. me to articulate. And still it's difficult to but articulate. I, yeah, I try. <laughs> it's Every something, though, that don't you feel that, you know, playing a game like Cyberpunk, it's something that I found myself thinking about especially, you know? Oh, it definitely has lasting power, like, in your brain. It, you Games sort of like come this, away though, with, like... like one, one other thing, quickly, oh, just yeah, to please. say is um, Metal Gear Solid, like... Two and three. Usually, I mean, fuck any Hideo Kojima game has that sort of. But yeah, just to compare it to, it has that sort of effect where even when you're not just when you finish the game, but when you you know even you stop playing it the first time or even the tenth time, like you you sort of you log out and you that you, inner it sort of stays. Of the real, it fucking yeah, absorbs like, you, man. It's more it real does. than life. It very much is. It man. really kind of sticks in your brain a little bit. Right? More it, perfect in the yeah. mind than in the real. So yeah. every fucking it noodles around forever. You know, it's very true like yeah. fucking men the way that things exist in artistic instances implanted there by the person who contrived them is a state of fucking almost like it's like the bezel of a ring you know what a bezel is the place yeah, you put yeah, the jewel yeah. in a ring you know it's like in the natural world forms are fucking hard to decipher but in art it's almost like it's a bezel for form you put it there for just the slot person. it in right yeah it's there yeah, to fucking yeah. appeal to the mind and like fuck that's that's something a constant sensation yeah, I encounter dispelled, playing nah. games, you know? Fuck. I think games, like, to advance on that point, mm -hmm. are perhaps the best bezel for form. Like, other forms fucking... Other, excuse me, mediums access form fucking conventionally, which means not in it... It, not in itself you know they fucking point to it they're like oh it's over there you know like fucking language which is great like in a sense yeah. it's great for a trained mind to fucking learn things through exterior signs because it's almost like pointing to a whole universe of discourse you already have in your head but it's not good in and of itself for signifying things right mm -hmm. when i describe something with words somebody who doesn't know the language is incapable of accessing yeah, that meaning, yeah. right? Like, the meaning is historically particularized, but when you build a video game, even if you can't read the script in the video game, what you're doing is building the proper accidents of the things you're depicting. You're giving them the flesh and accidents and matter and sensible properties they would actually have in the real, ideally, right? Yeah, it's... It's, it's very much akin to building the first a thing like, space, right? Like, to put it plainly, I think it's the first thing that you think of, like, that you can, like, jack into, right? Where you have input... That's with right, yeah. what's going on on the other side, uh, right? And, uh, I, you know, like, VR that, should be right. a fucking yeah, extension right. of that, right? And we haven't really seen that I other really than... Should. Other than, like, like you say, like you said to, you know, just imitate, right? We say, like, you know, Half-Life yeah. Alex is a yeah. fucking imitation yeah. thing. Or, like, yeah. you know, it's like playing fucking FIFA 2,000 fucking million on so. the... Play. You're I just imitating so. soccer. Like, you're just imitating... Right? Whereas it could be something cooler. I wouldn't be able to I think so figure that out I but anyway in, that's in really fucking though in 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 rudimentary like in a primitive aspect like mm -hmm. this kind of thing has been undertaken by anybody who not maybe in a theatrical sense like somebody producing a fucking Shakespearean play but anybody who like for example in a religious ritual set about to mm -hmm. with their behavior with their operations enact the form of something else they say in this operation, I am X, Y, or Z. Yeah. Like, this is gaming, such as I understand it, you know? Right, this right. This is essentially what gaming consists in. Via your operations, enacting some form other than yourself. Specifically via ritual matter, or virtual matter now, excuse me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ritual slash virtual matter now. You know, we, we have the fucking ability to, almost like those individuals in the game we're going to talk about soon, like, fucking build a whole world, like, in this non-physical space it doesn't mm -hmm. exist in real space whatever the fuck the value of that is <laughs> yeah. who even knows if real space exists anyways like that's a yeah totally that's personally another. like i'm sympathetic to that thing like we only ever have empirical proof of the fact that the empirical world exists which is the weakest kind you know fuck that shit right 
I'm already fucking. That's what we're dealing totally, with, right? That's yeah. why, like, I think, man, well, like, was... when we engage with games, you know, like, one of my. So many, like, in this tradition of thought, like, the fucking. In human society, you know, we have fucking. You know, just like in the human body, we have cells and fucking processes, and we have fucking vegetable matter and animal properties, all the way up to the fact that we're men. Like, we're. We're. We differentiated by the fact that we're intellectual from other fucking animals, for example. Right. right. In the order of those processes, I think, like, fucking the fact that we can, like, subject our mind to some fucking process like playing a game, you know? Or participating in a ritual. Not only is it a characteristically human function, no other animal can do that, obviously, but... Yeah. I think it is one of the highest functions of man, that kind of, like, poetical fucking participation, you know? Like, insofar as... It's what separates us from fucking animals, and insofar as it's kind of like a property of our being, it's almost like fucking, yeah, you know, like, it's like sight to the eye, right? Like to fucking play games, maybe, in the soft sense. Like to play games, yes, or read novels, or be a scientist, or be a mathematician. Like the point is to fucking exercise some abstract faculty of representing mm -hmm. form to yourself or it's to like, other things, you know? It's like the opposite of like when you think of like animals and like their instincts. Like everything that they rely on is like is like just yes. their nature and their instincts, right? You You're like totally like there's a breaking out of that, right? Thing fucking response for an animal the animal looks at grass say you're a cow you see grass you don't see this being which is green and has these properties you mm -hmm. see something which can be eaten yeah it's, its entire meaning is reducible to its relation to you exactly yeah, which i yeah. would say is the fucking evil of bourgeois civilization right it reduces <laughs> it reduces meaning to a relation to the how self, it relates right? to you yeah yes, yeah that's that's, pretty that's, that's the problem with talking about fucking things you know as yeah. a consumer or as a politician or, or what oh, have God. you right it, all of the meaning reduces to its relation to the self you know, like quite like an animal would perceive things, right? <laughs> that might tell you all you need to know about the concept. I was so, going to say, we can end it there, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. then and there. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas if you look at things like a fucking being, you know, even if it's unpleasant to you, like it could be an urchin or an animal that could <laughs> devour you. And like one thing you have the advantage of is looking at a lion, which can fucking destroy you and yeah. appreciating it for a thing in and of itself, independent of its relationship to you. You can right. say it's beautiful and I appreciate its situation from, in the fucking From ecology, far away, right? yeah. <laughs> of course, you have the ability to abstract, right? Yeah, and yeah. This is what fucking makes games special, right? Like via that ability of the human intellect, you fucking like Johnny Silverpan, jack out of your fucking body and plant yourself in some other fucking shit. Pretty and much, unless you can yeah. see of games in this manner, I venture that whatever the fuck you're doing, it's masturbation, bro. You're wasting your fucking life, you know? Uh, seriously, like, I... <laughs> that's why people don't take games seriously. Like, they don't think of it in this sense. They don't say, like, yes, we're using the ability of human beings to intellectualize their performance in something other than themselves. They to just depict see it something. As, like, they just see it as, like, yeah, we're playing Rocket League, some, some facile, yeah. like, mind-wasting, yeah. two-and-a-half men-style entertainment, you know? Literally masturbation. Like, it's there for fun. Like, one of the common criticisms of a video game is, it's not fun, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, is Death tragedy Stranding supposed to be fun? fun? Like, is tragedy... So uh, just to say there's... Oh, it doesn't matter if it's not fun. Who the fuck cares except for, again, your masturbatory personality, right? Like... Yeah, that's fair. That doesn't, that doesn't mean anything about anything. So, you know, so, <laughs> putting all this fucking out, putting all this out there, and to what end? I, I would say it's to fucking... To lay the framework for talking about some of the fucking cool concepts that I encountered getting to the end of Cyberpunk 2077. Right yeah. on. You finally finished it, eh? Yeah, I did finish it. Yeah, it took 55 hours or so. 53 hours to get to the point of no return. You know what? That's, select the endings. That's, yeah. that's longer than but I thought it would have taken. I left taken, a fucking but... ass pile of shit undone. So yeah. Much. Most of the... Yeah, I didn't even do a lot of the side I mean, this is this is characters. like your... You know, like, this is like a Skyrim type thing where yeah, there's just a yeah, exactly, ton yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Like, you really would have to uncharacteristically for us like abandon all other games and just focus yeah. on this one game for the rest and we're uncapable we're definitely like we can't do that i, I can do like I another already, 20 I'm hours like, maybe of side missions but like yeah for sure i did but i mean just to like, characters I like could like, you drop everything else no, you're playing that, no. and just play cyberpunk for maybe no, no. for like a day or two or a few hour like when it first releases but not but now the thing with right any finite thing is that that's i can't what it's for. You know what I mean? It's a betrayal of that fucking artistic fucking appetite, that poetic appetite to yeah. say this one finite form satisfies me. No, I don't believe in fucking no, games no. as a service for that reason. I don't believe in fucking MMOs. I believe those are necessarily truncated and flawed forms of artistic production fucking personally. Like, 
you know, in and of themselves for the reason I just said. But like in this game, we don't quite have that, but all of that bloat definitely contributes to it. I think it would feasibly though be possible to finish all of the side missions, which have serious like cool world building and characterization. Yeah, yeah. Those are definitely worth finishing. All the ones I did, I was like, holy fuck. I was seriously like, my mind was blown at the end of all of them, you know? to lay out a few fucking highlights. They, anyway. they do have really excellent side yeah. content. Like yeah. that, you have to fucking especially yeah. give yeah. them for whatever yeah. reason. I've never seen better side missions. Yeah. Me too. You know, develop in a fucking video Not even game. in their own like, games. How many minutes are we like at right now, They feel like they could... Buddy? We're at 11. Let's fucking fuck... Mind if I get into like... Yeah, go wherever you want, man. point pertaining to cyberpunk, you know, having right. fucking seen the end of the story in most of the major side Hit missions. Hit me with it. Like, Hit me, bro. I think like fucking... Starting with, the first thing we have to establish is this game deals with a world that fucking struggles in the wake of what I like to refer to as the fucking techno-capital singularity. And what this means... Techno-capital singularity. Yes, what this means is that all, all right. of bodily nature, the entire physical fucking world, mm -hmm. has been subject to an index, you know, to some form of measurement and manipulation that can both fucking via tech change everything and by a capital index and buy and sell it you know so we live right. in a world where even human consciousness can be fucking manipulated bought and sold that's yep. the first essential point that's what the techno capital singularity refers to that's fun the fact that the entire spectrum of nature but especially for our point human consciousness intellect at least its material basis i wouldn't say like actual intellect but the body like the thing that houses the intellect mm -hmm, you know the mm -hmm. data stream they refer to it as that can be manipulated changed technologically and that's what techno refers to our ability to manipulate and commodity refers to our ability to fucking trade it like index and fucking right, right. refer it to one another you know so we're living in a world in cyberpunk 2077 where intellect itself human personality as johnny and fucking v discuss ad infinitum is subject to fucking buying and selling you know like jeez and i think fucking following on this conceit one of the main sites in the narrative where we focus on this is in a discussions of this fucking data fortress that Arasaka has built in the cybernet in the in, in fucking not real space in cyberspace mm -hmm. called makoshi you know you probably fucking heard about this if you played the game even for a few minutes, like Jackie and V talk about it early on. And I struggled for a bit to understand what the fuck they were talking about, you know? I it wasn't no really laid idea. out clearly, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I've even read reviewers and commentators talking about, like, how they didn't understand why the net wasn't explored further in the narrative, you know? So, keeping in mind this concept of techno-capital singularity we've already discussed, <laughs> let's talk for a fucking second about... What the fuck the net is? What is the net? You know, we hear a lot about it. Why do we see yeah, net runners? Like, the, what yeah, is the, yeah. We see net runners. We see people all, all this crazy shit. So what we've fucking gotten to in the world of Cyberpunk 2077 is a world where digital information is fucking so complex and multi-layered that it's most efficient to represent it in a three-dimensional space, quite like a game. That net right. runners, yeah, okay. people specialize. They have brains. It's like, it's that like are a really like, advanced, like uh, yes, user yes, interface exactly. of some sorts, right? A fucking user yeah. interface that's yeah. super complex. That right. fucking people with you require like inborn skills. You don't need like a computer you know? anymore. It's just like you there. Do need like a, it's a fucking, special interface, but because yeah. of cyberware, you literally plug it into well, your I guess, brain. Well, I guess I like, guess cyber. Yeah, cyberware would just be like yeah, the computers yeah, in your yeah, brain. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most efficient way, like the central point, is that the most efficient way to interact with digital information now is by plugging your cyberware into it. Right literally rendering it as a three-dimensional space yeah. but your interactions with it another crucial point don't take place in real time it's not like you know one minute for one minute of real time you're walking around in cyberspace like mm -hmm. you render it as a physical representation but what's actually occurring is just the manipulation of data that takes place hundreds of times faster than actually Jesus is occurring Christ. so you know it feels like you're walking around cyberspace but your mind is actually just processing data <laughs> right and this takes an intense computational toll on the cyberware that's why fucking net runners need to be wearing special coolant suits immersed they in have fucking like heat tubs sinks of ice. and shit yeah. exactly <laughs> because their brains are like just blasting through more <laughs> information that a human brain should ever fucking process <laughs> sense free information that's i might add sick. right yeah. so to fucking so build on all this sick. concept again like from my perspective the important things to recognize are firstly that fucking there's some translatability i think it almost follows from the fact that space time is relative you know of the human mind to mm -hmm. some other parcel of matter i don't think this entails some kind of materialism you know the human mind to my opinion is still totally abstract it only entails that the material organ whereby intellection occurs in the Aristotelian sense is translatable, right? The fucking pattern that individuates you in relation to other things in space-time 
can be imposed on new matter. You know, you have your place in space time. I have mine. It's not my fucking chunks of meat that separates us. Mm -hmm. It's our yeah. coordinates in space time, so to speak. That's the implication of this. A more refined fucking theory of individuation, I would say, from my perspective. And it's fucking sick to even think yeah, about. It's, it's sick that just in the same way, games like fucking Ghost of Tsushima set you down this path of thinking about Buddhist emptiness and reading DT Suzuki. Here we are fucking talking about techno capital singularity and what it means to fucking have your intellect individuated by digital matter. That's fucking tits. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck your Rocket League. <laughs> Fuck your fucking bullshit Fortnite. That's what games oh, are I for, can't bro. Stand but anyways, Fortnite, man. you know, to Ooh. persist down this fucking train of reasoning now, we have these fucking parts laid out. We have the fact that fucking intellect is, you know, abstract. It's individuated by different matter. Like all of this presupposes essentially that not that we reduce the mind to fucking chunks, but that we reduce the part, the body, essentially, the right, body, right. the world of matter, the part, the part whereby the intellect interacts with the world of matter is translatable. You know, you can become like Johnny Silverhand, right? You can zap your fucking self out of you your can. body or Saburo or Saburo. Super, yeah, super yeah. spoilers. Like, <laughs> I was going to say, we're just going to can... fucking get into that. All right, too. spoilers. Pass this point. Spoilers. Fuck you. You've been warned. Yeah. So th those are the essential fucking concepts. Like, I think lay the groundwork for this this discussion of makoshi firstly that fucking you know there's this concept of techno capital singularity that that fucking the entire world of matter is reduced to parts not only that we can understand manipulate but that we can buy and sell yeah. and also that fucking intellect it's not quite reducible to the fucking anchor it has in matter right like johnny silverhand's data pattern you know for example it's not like you can make two copies of the guy right and have two separate versions of him existing at the same time like he's no. a fucking but you he's, can he's a digital mind right mm -hmm, like he persists yeah. as a pattern like it's a unique historically individual fucking yeah thing, right yeah yeah it's not just so simple to copy or to fucking yeah it's not quite what he is but it's his anchor in the world you it's know fucking yeah and that's like, we, crazy with all this shit fucking laid out like i think we're equipped to talk about such concepts as makoshi in the fucking game like you hear people talk about this the whole time you know from the very beginning you have conversations with jackie about Arasaka's digital prison of Makoshi. You know, they have this thing called the, the uh, fucking Save Your Soul program or the Uplate Your Soul program. I don't quite remember what the Yeah, they, they bring is. that. The, the problem is, well, no, it's not a problem, but they, they bring it up before you even sort of have any fucking... They lay the groundwork for it early. That's yeah, the like they show, talk yeah. about it. They, they, you know, they bring it up, but before you have any semblance of fucking knowledge on the thing yeah. at all, right? So you don't yeah. know what to what to make of it right? i wouldn't really know what to make of it unless i read the fucking book about it the, frankly the, yeah. yeah and a lot of the world from playing the game externally you, yeah yeah you might not put it together i don't have a problem with that necessarily but like definitely i think that's why we're talking about it right now right like what what is makoshi then like it, it has so much to do with the resolution of the plot like why johnny silverhand is pissed off about what he is you know like <laughs> and essentially what happened you know we achieved this techno capital singularity and like johnny sing jo johnny <laughs> silverhand's fucking central nature to the plot has to do with the fact that it's because of him and his girlfriend and we're fucking spoiling the whole alt, game for you yeah yeah alt is the one who devised this program to fucking map the human consciousness to digital matter the she's soul, the one who said or, yeah she figured soul out how to killer, make soul right killer. Soul, yeah. soul killer what it does is it maps human consciousness to digital matter at one point in the game alt is like johnny as the digital alt she's like i'm fucking looking at you right now but i'm seeing your thoughts in terms of like patterns and and fucking yeah. genetic code essentially right alt's alt's fucking contribution was to devise soul killer she figured out how to turn the matter that a mind inhabits into digital matter into a know? fucking just yeah like a backup file of yeah. your brain yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's but, fucked. But the important thing again, it's not like it copies you and there's two guys. Like it fucking translates you. you know? Yeah, it almost like yeah it extracts it. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it translates you. You know. Ugh. So Johnny Silverhand was in this biochip. That was the fucking framework for Saburo Arasaka fucking doing the same thing to himself. You know what I mean? All this crazy stuff, right? And I fucking think that, man thinking about this fucking concept of like Makoshi and the fucking data sphere and fucking alt and how she exists mm -hmm. after leaving her body in cyberpunk. That's, that's, that's really like the meat of the game to me. That's like the essence of the lore. So you fucking look at like, I guess to answer the question of what is Makoshi, you know, and why the net doesn't play fucking a big role in cyberpunk 2077. It's because the net, as we just described it, this mm -hmm. place that fucking people plug their brains into and fucking traverse in this simulation of fucking three dimensions, 
It's because in a fucking, in the period where Johnny Silverhand was alive, it was destroyed by fucking this guy called Bart Moss. He released a bunch of viruses that fucking just filled the net with artificial intelligences that could not be controlled. Oh, you know? fuck. Yeah, yeah. So people built this thing called the wall, the black wall, Netwatch. They're like a corp sponsored, like fucking bunch of techno cops devoted to keeping the intelligences from the black, from the other side of the from black the, wall out yeah. of Night City, right? Yeah, so you meet those fucking guys and shit, and, like, in the wake of all of this stuff, you fucking find out that the net has been fractured into essentially, like, just private servers. Whoever has a server, they can run a net, of course, like the Voodoo do The Voodoo Boys have their yeah, own server, yeah. right? Like, it makes perfect sense, of course. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makoshi it's, it's, is... is yeah, continue, I was sir. gonna say, it's just like having, like, you know, yeah. your factions, like, as a, you know, in a fucking canada having their own server yeah. right like in that yeah. sense right so that's where that's why there's no fucking globally explorable net mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fucking cyber mm -hmm. because it's been destroyed in the, in the fiction but there's certain points in the game where thanks again to this techno capital singularity you can translate your consciousness into this digital space and explore in this like fucking it's exactly a scene out of neuromancer like these fucking digital data streams and blue spaces yeah, oh, and yeah. dreamy fucking shit you need <laughs> alt you know it's fucking so cool. I remember, yeah, that's sick. It's so cool. Just, oh, it's fucking mesmerizing, right? Like, just yeah, seeing how they represent that shit, just fucking alt standing as, like, the big fucking... Uh, yeah, I, I really do think that's the central bit of the fucking story. I feel like it's tangential. It's hard to nail down fucking in succinct discourse, but I really, really do think, is. like, you have to, the like, central bit of the, the central fucking... The material point of the story, the premise of it, the high concept of it is that fucking this techno capital singularity has occurred. Consciousness itself has been reduced not only to a manipulable element, but something that can be bought or sold. And in the wake of that, you, V, fucking enter Night City and fucking you're there to fucking confront exactly this fucking question in terms of so many different things. Yeah. Your own fucking existence and how it fucking pans Just out. Just by chance, too. <laughs> yeah. Because, of and, course, and, right? And fucking, I really like that. It seems like what the game is fucking in its world of being, like its natural tendency. It seems to be that fucking, of course, like fucking corporations like Arasaka can exist in their nefarious sense to fucking take advantage of the techno capital singularity and like use it to enslave people. Mm -hmm. Although at the same time, the game does suggest that via Takamura and the fact that war is averted via, you know, Saburo's reincarnation, that it's not necessarily a negative thing, right? Like. That's just moralizing. It's not necessarily a negative. Yeah. I mean, where it says, fuck you, you complain about all this shit, but you don't look at the fucking other side of it, bro. Like, we impose order on the universe. Like, who's to say that it's any different than a cellular biological competition, right? Like, just way more advanced. Yeah. Exactly. Way more advanced, right? But yeah, it's, it's crazy because uh, what's his name? The son. What's the son's name? Yorinobu. Yorinobu kills his dad. Yeah. And then. What ends up happening, the... In the Corpo ending, which is my favorite ending for sure. Probably you fucking, canon, you, you right? help fucking, uh, what's her name? The, the lady. I the can't other, remember the other, the names. Arasaka sister there. The, the daughter, yeah. You help her yeah. fucking take, you help her take the corp back from her brother, and she fucking helps her dad, who has Who's been dead, fucking like Johnny has Silver been, and yeah. compromised. You help him implant in his son's body, and he takes right. over the corporation again, which is my favorite ending, obviously. It fucking is so sick, but, you know, I... I I think, though, like, it's obviously the evil ending at the same time. I think, like, the interpretive yeah. key, like, I say in fucking something that I wrote about this game, like, the interpretive key to this game, I think, is in that Delamain, Delamain quest that you suggested <laughs> that yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was fucking such an amazing quest, bro. And I think it's the interpretive key to the game in this sense, you know? Mm -hmm. We're looking at this fucking endgame point where fucking you see V and he's alone on the space station and Saburo's reincarnated. Like, how do we read it? What is the game trying to fucking... How does this fit in the game's universe? Like, it's hard to tell. It's ambiguity is fucking profound until we fucking examine such things as the fucking quest with the Delamain fucking children and shit like that. And I think what we see in this quest, you know, is the fact that all of the fucking possibilities of the techno capital singularity, like they're unmeasurable, right? There's new intelligence is born, literally new beings, you know? Mm -hmm. They're no mm -hmm. less real than you or me or any other being, right? Or Johnny Silverhand. Yeah, the brain, lines right? have been muddled, right? Yeah, Everything's the lines sort of have blurred. Been muddled. <laughs> and, 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 and fucking surely, like, they were born from nefarious circumstances, but they're truly born. Like, yeah, it would be fucking yeah. ridiculous to just deny all of this fucking change and deny the fact deny that material real. reality yeah, has exactly, changed. Yeah. Like, intellect itself may be fucking abstract and beyond matter, but the basis for it is altered irrevocably, you know? And so we're left to fucking struggle with the fact that from fucking some computer minds, some fucking other computer minds were born, like mm -hmm. children practically. And Johnny's like, man, you could extinguish them. You could fucking 
just fucking let them free or you could fucking let them integrate into some higher mind like and he's approving of that like johnny like obviously is supposed to be the moral compass of fucking cyberpunk despite his irrationality <laughs> in some points and, like surprising but yeah okay yeah like <laughs> I, I i think in this fucking quest you know the option wherein you fucking integrate all of the different delamains like in this fucking different same like fucking metaphysical singularity it mm -hmm. transcends the techno capital singularity because the contradictory elements are sublated you know yeah yeah, yeah. i think that's fucking the interpretive key to this game like what we're looking for at the end of of fucking all things is, is not quite like fucking, you know, some kind of like humanist, like, it's not like the problems of society are gonna be solved. We're gonna transcend the human condition altogether and integrate things in some metaphysical capacity, right? Like, that's the message that the game is fucking offering us, in my opinion, you know? And I think that that's why maybe something like the Johnny ending is fucking the, you know, the most fucking canonical in the sense that even if one of the characters, either V or Johnny, has to fucking keep the body and do whatever the fuck they're gonna do. Like, you have the yeah. option to, like, exactly like Delamain's fucking children joining Delamain's mind. Like, your option as either Johnny or V, whoever's jettisoning the body, you fucking go on into Alt's mind, right? Like, you're like, yeah, we're fucking joining some. Yeah, you just sort of join in there and. Some beatific vision of. That's fucked. Cyberspace. Yeah, becoming more than human, you know? Yeah, That's yeah. That's the good ending. It's, it's like it's, it's sad, transcendence, man. man. <laughs> transcendence is the ending. But it also, I really Just like, like Dark how, Souls. <laughs> like, you cannot escape the element of human sadness. Like, oh, no. In yeah, all there's cases, no. Like, I was no, fucking sad, bro. Like, it is yeah, truly there's no, transcendence. There's like, no perfect, like, yeah, happy man. ending. I'm yeah. going to Mikoshi. I'm yeah. going into Alt. Like, Chris in other case, I'm leaving the body yeah. behind. I'm becoming some platonic form. Chris told me the exact same thing. But at the same time, like, it's sad, bro. Like, I love mm. Pan Am. I want to fucking... And she's gone. She's calling me when I'm on the space station. She's like, you better come home. I'm like, oh, I'll be home soon. But you know you're never going home. Uh, you're fucking gone. Uh, Takamura's is like, well, I don't know if you're ever going to have a body again. But when you do, come have dinner with me <laughs> in Tokyo. I'll fucking show you some real food, you oh, he, stupid American. He ends up, he goes <laughs> back. Oh, that's, I saved him. I saved that's him. That's a big thing for yeah, him, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love Takamura. He's my bro. He's the other bro. Like, if you fucking... He, I think him and Johnny are your main bros. Like... River Ward is your bro too, but like Takamura like fills the Taku place of yeah. Johnny in the Corpo fucking sort of Jackie. You mean thing. Jackie? Sorry. No, of Johnny. Who's Johnny? Johnny. Oh, Johnny. oh, Johnny. Yeah, like, Sorry, like Keanu. Yeah, Keanu, I'm fucking yeah. thinking of Jackie. Keanu's yeah. like he hates Arasaki and shit, but if you side with him in the narrative, like, and you save Takamura, he's the kind of guy who's there for you when you're gonna die and shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I, I he's fucking, like the real life Johnny. You're saying, yeah, right? Kind of, yeah. And Johnny's like your yeah. buddy, and but I do like the narrative star. with Johnny. I did both of those fucking lines, and I either way, the point is the same to me. Either you fucking lose your mind in the Arasaka fucking data sphere, or you immerse yourself in alt consciousness and escape into the deep web. But the point is that this fucking techno capital singularity, like what it portends either is fucking slavery on, if you abuse it or fucking transcendence but there's no yeah. remaining the same bro the human condition is done no, yeah it's you know it's people are like yeah, at that well, point. what does this game suggest for fucking like minimizing systemic like no yeah, bro no, what no, it suggests no, it's not about that buddy <laughs> over you're done fuck you and fuck your society it's over humanity is literally over you are going to succumb to some kind of fascistic regime or you're going to transcend your bodily condition but there's no middle ground right that's, That's pretty fucking sick, though. Like, I, to consider that, I didn't think this game would be, you know, this deep and this kind of, uh, this rich in, like, the... Yeah, man. That's why, like, and just to fucking lay it all out again, like, what yeah. we're dealing with is techno-capital singularity. The entire fucking sphere of being reduced to parts that can be bought or sold and technologically manipulated. We're dealing with Mikoshi. Which is a data fortress constructed by Arasaka. Like, after the whole entire internet was destroyed, corporations had to build independent servers to construct their data spheres on where yeah, networks yeah. can navigate in three-dimensional space fucked. by jacking in kind of like the matrix right? right that's what makoshi is the other cool thing about makoshi is that they have some program for rich people where you can pay yeah takamura literally says yeah we have had i saw that in the, in the loading screen fucking, yeah. yeah brain dance stars like what they do is they yep. pay when they're gonna die exactly like saburo to yep. fucking shoot their consciousness into makoshi but Nefariously, you sign a contract saying you're the property of Arasaka. Like you're literally like your fucking consciousness. Oh, you're owned. literally selling yeah. your soul. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh damn! But honestly, bro, to me, like, that's like Adam. I'm just gonna put this Adam there, Smasher like, is the same thing. They saved him, yeah, I think. He was, I guess. But Adam Smasher, like he he wasn't for Arasaka. He was for Yarnobu, right? Like right, yeah. He's contrary but to I, I think he was sort of tied in that same way where they saved him. And, and but Hanua, fucking, she's she's like, yeah, that's why my my, my brother surrounds himself with pieces of shit like criminals, like fucking yeah. Adam Smasher, because he. Hates tradition. He hates nah. Arasaka. 
you know? Like, in some ways, Arasaka presents itself. They have they have advocates for Arasaka, like fucking, like, uh, like Takamura. He's like, yeah, fucking, of course, like, you hate the corporate way of life. What do you suggest in fucking alternative? Yeah, well, here? yeah, I you think he literally said that literally in the last does. mission I was doing. Yeah, the yeah, there. that's yeah. the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you fucking talk about here? I mean, you know, like, yeah. that's the way the world should be. And, like, Hannah was like, yeah, I fucking am here to, like, keep the fucking corpo ordered like we run half the world that's my job you know my brother wants to disrupt things and the brothers all ass hurt because the dad slapped him and told him he was a bitch or something like that you know <laughs> he doesn't like being controlled or something but Saburo's ah, like bitch fuck. this is the natural order like Saburo Arasaka is like reading this guy Nick Lenz like concept of fucking techno capitalism it's it's crazy shit but anyways man you know beating this game it took about 55 hours I fucking I'm gonna offer my fucking summating summative thoughts i guess at the end of it all and fucking you know in spite of the fact that there were some crashes in spite of the fact that i definitely would have preferred if it was not an open world game yeah i don't fucking give a that's fuck that's that. hey so that's much of the gameplay like say, bro yeah. disco elysium which i talked about before has one mechanic it has a dice roll mechanic whether you're talking fighting fucking drinking you do one thing you roll a roll dice, a dice. You really? see what i happens. didn't even know that a universal mechanic i think in some ways that's definitely preferable to like making me do this slogging fucking you know but other than that on the side of what is being signified mm -hmm. which is what i give a fuck about frankly is fucking, like fuck this game is like there. fucking yeah. man yeah. there's nothing like that nothing yeah. fucking like that in the world it's For beautiful sure. it's beautiful it fucking will break your heart it'll fucking it's beautiful man it will it's fucking amazing and the characters like never mind i bitch so much about the human element but the human element in this game is fucking amazing i love the characters i love them they're fucking more real than real bro pan am pan am the best fuck oh man and Saul. <laughs> i just want to be a nomad bro i want to live in a nomad can we start a nomad clan let's sell everything we have buy some fucking big trucks i guess yeah just get wasted in the desert that doesn't even exist around here but fuck it you know i think we're on to something oh, i think this yeah. episode has been a turning point in our that's lives that's why it broke my heart man <laughs> yeah. at the ending i was like i really want to run away with the nomad with pan am like, <laughs> it's with not the logic of being it's yeah, not the logic yeah. of being with pan am's ass and with the nomads i want to barbecue in the desert and just drink with pan am <laughs> I wouldn't to say no. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> Whether you die in six months or in 50 years, it's not the same as transcending into Makoshi or fucking into alt, right? Like, what is Makoshi? Makoshi's the, the <laughs> data fort of Arasaka. Yeah. Anyways, that's what we're here to fucking answer today. Let, again, can we fucking lay it out quick? Well, we, we got fucking things like Engram, you know, a digital yeah. consciousness, fucking yeah. the copy of your fucking soul, not a replica of it, a translation of it. They take your soul. They... <laughs> plop it in new fucking shit digital matter like saburo like johnny fucking makoshi arasaka's digital fucking data fortress after the net was destroyed in fucking 20 whatever the fuck where johnny blew up arasaka by bart moss every corporation constructed their own version of the net like the voodoo boys like fucking arasaka like militech and makoshi is arasaka's data fortress that's where they store the engrams the digital copies of people's of minds people they yeah make, yeah all the rich people. Yeah. Arasaka has figured out how to fucking take your fucking mind and plant it in digital matter, you know? Or That's replant fun. it in another body. But not without com not without complication. That's another cool point. Like the reason why at the ending of the game in the corpo ending, you can't fucking just get a new body is they're like, yeah, fucking we had Saburo planted in his son's body because his mind had some fucking, there's some like genetic similarity between his mind and his okay, son's Okay, it mind. took more easily, yeah, it yeah, worked, it but took, yeah, it yeah. Yeah, I planted, but uh, you, there's no body for you, bro. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go into Makoshi, right? Like, yeah. All right, we'll just throw you in Makoshi for now. You swim around until we, uh, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, see you I, later. I, I, <laughs> I really like, I don't know what to say other than yeah. fucking this game, like in all of the things we just talked about, it touches, it presupposes you construct and conceive an entire fucking metaphysic, like a whole picture of reality, how minds relate to bodies, relate to fucking society, blah, 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 blah. Most fucking games don't even, don't even, don't even fucking bother. No, don't no, even, not God. even close, like, not even, I know, yeah. And we're not even, this we is haven't a even like, achievement. we, we not literally, even scratched the surface. We yet. haven't even, this is the general, in, like, in this episode specifically, we haven't even talked about like any of the fucking gameplay, any of the systems, any of the mechanics, no. like just literally the fucking, we haven't even talked about the ways <laughs> in which what we have talked about blasts through the gameplay. Well, yeah, right? yeah. Oh my yeah. God. I'm, the thing we just talked about there is, is the, so is much the story conceit. 
Yeah. What it relates to, oh my God, I can just even list off a couple of them. <laughs> fucking many of the main side quests are about this, right? Yeah. They're about, yeah. for example, like a fucking politician and his wife running thing. for mayor, like having their consciousness manipulated. Because yeah. again, due to the techno capital singularity, that yeah. is possible. You can it's have fake possible. thoughts planted yeah. in your head and stuff. That's fucking something that happens. There's fucking. Uh, uh, there's the Delamain quest with the fucking the Delamain, children yeah. of Delamain no, being born from his mind, which is my favorite one for sure. Fucking. Oh, buddy. I, 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 we're going to have to cut it off. I'm going to wrap I think. No, up. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think. Uh, I, think I we'll, love that game. It really tugged at my fucking yeah, being. Yeah, I think we'll you know? stop like, right there. It was a thing, bro. It's not even like. It's like Death Stranding. I fucking often complain about these fucking attempts to derive some human element from fucking you know artistic representation but like mm -hmm. i think it should follow naturally when you build a good world that it has the elements from top to bottom and these games definitely do just like at the end of death stranding where you see fucking lou and fucking sam just please like there's some satisfaction in this game at fucking witnessing the conclusion of events i not only appreciate like the trajectory of the metaphysics like i like the character yeah, yeah. i love the world i love to be there bro i love to just walk around like I love to look at Just things. Immerse yourself it's in there. It's fucking yeah. beautiful. Like I, it, it's exactly like Death Stranding last year. It's very rare for me to have these experiences, but Cyberpunk was for me like a fucking just a transcendental experience. Like a my bit mind surprising just melted too. into yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. I was done. Like for I finished it like in a couple of weeks, and that's it. I took hundreds of pictures. Like fucking, I loved it, bro. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved it so much. I love every fucking person and faction in it in their own way, and I appreciate what they all represent. And yeah, like, yeah, it's so good, you know. I'm trying to read like Neuromancer a... and stuff like that now, which is the fucking novel that pretty much Cyberpunk the RPG is based on. And oh, like, okay. I like Cyberpunk better. I don't give a fuck. You know. Nice. That's like, good. It's, it's great. It's. I love Cyberpunk. That's quite the endorsement, man. I think if anything, we should. Uh... My only fucking technical problem was crashes. I did have yeah, constant yeah. crashes, pretty much, like. Every two hours or so, there'd be a crash. A couple months until, until like until uh, three days ago. I, I then oh I really? For three wow. four hours. I didn't see no crashes. You know, I think in a couple of months and with a, a next gen patch, yeah, if things run smoothly, it'll be fucking yep. one of the best games maybe fucking up there. You know, ever ever crafted. It truly ever. is like yeah. one of the best games fucking ever. Yeah. I think at least in terms of like what it does with the medium, with the ability mm -hmm, to allow mm -hmm. you to perform the fucking actions and fucking personality of another entity, yeah. this is one of the Even best Even just ones boiling it down as like immersive sim with dialogue oh, yeah. options. Even just, yeah, like, Deus Ex style just immersive fucking... sim, fuck yeah. Fuck all the RPG <laughs> open world bullshit. Yeah. That, if there's one criticism I have and we can touch on this briefly <laughs> is that, bro, this game suffered from gamification. A little it's bit, much, yeah. Why? Why is there... Oh, yeah, like how you brought up a like, uh, thing, Disco yeah, Elysium. You could do with yeah. one mechanic, you know, simple fucking means of interaction. At the end of the day, it will always be symbolized. There's no yeah. means... There's no reason to delve... Unless, like, some other commentators... I mean, I like the gameplay, like, don't get me wrong. I do, but too, like, but, like, it's fucking pointless past the point, bro. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck is here for that? I don't want to fucking just... It's fun, but like, yeah, okay. Now the fiftieth time I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm fucking chop fair. off this guy's head. Yeah. I want to talk to fucking this lady and see what happens with the story. I don't give a fuck, you know. Like, Pan Am. Yeah. Everybody loves Pan Am. Give me a roll. Like, I like Pan Am too, but yeah. Generally, like the fucking density of the world. That's what I'm here for. It's a beautiful world. It's staggering. There's not much like it in the whole fucking. Definitely you know? have to agree with you there. Yeah. So I fucking say love we that fucking game. We, ooh, uh, shut her down. Fucking thank you guys for listening to us ramble about these crazy things. I uh, about how good Cyberpunk was at the end of this year, which we didn't think there would be something quite like a Death Stranding. Like, are you not? You uh, just yeah. said it is very much like that right? for me. Yes, something in the sense, really... especially that even if there is yeah. technical flaws, I'm reticent to admit. But I'm my technical impression of it is that it's flawed only insofar as engages in the forms of modern game design you know yeah. it should have just jettisoned that entirely like death stranding was superior in the sense that it wasn't afraid to say fuck your fucking whatever you normally do this is a walk -in yeah game, you know yeah yeah that's, that's true yeah, yeah this is like yeah well we're gonna be an open world fps yeah, it's gonna be like yeah, uh, yeah fuck you know <laughs> other than that like yeah uh, what they've done like yeah what it's they've good, conveyed good yeah. stuff play cyberpunk we love you guys fucking enjoy your games and tune in next week where we'll talk more fucking shit about exactly the same kind of stuff bye fuck yeah